scholars now we are not going to define strategy but we are just going to understand strategy as discussed earlier that the word strategy has got different meanings as many people as many contexts as many meanings assigned to the strategy and generally believed version of strategy is this that the strategy is a formally planned process in which something is first planned then it is implemented and then it is evaluated this is the one view and this is the dominant view but there is a scholar in the domain of management known as henry mintzberg who has disagreed to this notion that strategy is only something formal and something pre-planned or something intentional rather he has put forward in his article the five p's of strategy that a strategy can be of different types strategy can be intended strategy can be deliberate strategy can be realized strategy can be unrealized and strategy can be emergent there are three these five concepts of strategy you all need to well understand so what do we mean by intended strategy what do we mean by deliberate strategy what do we mean by realized and unrealized strategies and what is the meaning of emergent strategy before i define these and explain for you i simply take an everyday example for example every day in the beginning of the day or in the end of the day we plan for the next day we have got something in our mind we set our destination we set our objectives we also decide a course of action to have our destination we do it but you know that in some cases we attain exactly what we plan but in some cases this does not happen sometimes either our destination changes or if destination remains same our course of action changes and still in other cases neither our destination remained nor our course of action rather we take a path which is totally against what we decided to do actually what happens the case in which we decide our destination and course of action beforehand this is our intended strategy our intention to do something and if we manage to implement the strategy as it is this intended strategy becomes our deliberate strategy and if this deliberate strategy happens to achieve its objectives it becomes the realized strategy mean achieved strategy but if this deliberate strategy because of some reason fails to reach to its destination it becomes unrealized strategy and a case i just mentioned that it also happens in our life that we reach to a place or a destination we never thought of we never think of we never aim at this is actually known as our emergent strategy so these are the five flavors of strategy and five types of strategy which happen in the life and organization intended strategy deliberate strategy realized strategy unrealized strategy and emergent strategies there is a very good example on this and this example belongs to the early days of honda when it entered into the american market when honda entered into the american market its intended strategy was to offer smaller economy cars in the american market which was a market fully devoted and dedicated for the luxury and larger or rather big cars so honda entered into the market with this intention to offer small and economy cars but what happened its intended strategy did not work but during the course of the implementation of their 
intended strategy which which they could not realize they understand or they found out a great market of two wheelers and motorbikes in america and responding to this opportunity they introduced their motorcycles in america and it was a great success so this is the example of the unrealization of the intended strategy and emergence of a strategy which was never planned now after understanding this we move on to the very important part this is five p's of strategy you might have learnt about the four p's of marketing product price place and promotion and now this is another beautiful combination of five p's which actually present before you the five shades of strategy or five conceptualizations of strategy the first is strategy as a plan dear scholars this should be in your mind that strategy has got five shades and it has got five concepts and which are not isolated concepts rather these are well interrelated concepts let us first name that what are these five p's of strategy first is strategy as a plan then strategy as a ploy and strategy as a pattern strategy as a position these are very very important and the last one is strategy as a perspective now we take them one by one strategy as a plan the first definition or the first concept of strategy is that this is a action which is pre planned which is formally conceived in the organizations and it is taken as a guideline for the course of action to be taken but this is only the one part of strategy in organizations strategies are definitely planned as in our life we plan many things the second p of strategy is strategy as a ploy strategy as a ploy means the ploy word means a tactic which is played to outclass the competitors the strategy is also a ploy it's not only a plan it's not not, not only intended it's also a ploy which the organizations use to outclass their competitors from the market one recent example of such strategy such tactic is the example in the automobile industry of pakistan you know that automobile industry of pakistan is the industry in which there are only four players and out of four there are big three players and you all know the names of these big three players and nowadays these all big three or other fourth one players are having the problem in responding to the new auto policy introduced by the government of pakistan and all these players are introducing their new products into the market one of them the one of them who is popular and known for its comfortable vehicles has played a ploy it has launched a uh, an suv the sports utility vehicle which offers the features almost of those vehicles or suvs which are in the range of 4 million rupees but they have offered this product in the range of 2.2 million and this is such a step this company has taken that the you can just imagine the success of this step from this that the this particular vehicle they have introduced for 2.2 million is a great success in the sense that the so far company has not manufactured even a single unit of this product but they have offered its videos and conceptualizations only based on that the people have rushed to their door and it is informed that the first vehicle will be delivered after the 5 months of its delivery it is such a great ploy that the products of other companies have totally failed in the market so ploy is also the concept of strategy then strategy as a pattern you all know that it happens sometimes that we don't plan to go somewhere but we go somewhere when we go somewhere we leave the traces we leave the marks we leave our practice this particular practice becomes our pattern the same case is true with the strategy strategy is not only a plan strategy is not only a ploy strategy can also be a pattern mean we talked about emergent strategy emergent strategy is actually the 
this particular pattern path in which you don't intend but in response to your organ your environment you take such step that you reach at some destination and this becomes the pattern of your strategy then there is strategy as a position so strategy is also conceived and taken as the position of the organization in its environment especially in its competitive environment mean that you see that there are uh, different organization even was just talking about the automobile industry in automobile industry the four players in pakistan each player holds a position compared to others for example the one player holds the position as the manufacturer of durable cars the second player holds the position as manufacturer of comfortable cars the third player holds the position of as a manufacturer of economy cars and the fourth player holds the position or just holding the position as the manufacturer of cheap cars normally the word cheap should not be used but its product is perceived as in every industry you find out that every organization holds a position and the position held by the organization is actually its strategy in response to its environment then the fifth p of the strategy is strategy as perspective this diagram before you is well explaining there is a number written the one who is approaching from the left is considering it six the other who is approaching it from the right is considering it nine so there for the one phenomena there are different perspectives the strategy can also be taken as perspective perspective mean that this is also something which is in the mind minds of the people planning or working in the organization and always remember the perspective is so close in the organizations that organizations generally don't go beyond the perspective of their strategy for instance i take here one example you see that there are the fast food companies well known mcdonald we know kfc we know burger king we know hardee's we know pizza hut we know subway we know these all are the companies which are offering the fast food in uh, world over in general and in pakistan in particular you see that these all companies have got a strategic perspective their perspective is that they do not offer the full service they offer only self service and you see that these all organizations have shifted from one segment to another segment but without compromising on their perspective for example mcdonald kfc they have shifted from the regular meals to the breakfast meals but none of them has offered a candle light full service dinner actually organizations do change their ploys their plans their positions even their patterns even but they rarely change their perspective no after knowing the five p's of strategy you need to know one very important thing in the end that these all five p's do not work in isolation rather these are interrelated for example sometimes an organization has got a position and its position gives its a perspective and then for maintaining its perspective it plays the ploys it builds the plans and it leaves the pattern and sometimes an organization has got a perspective and just to keep its pro 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 perspective it holds a position and just keeping for this position it prepares the plans it plays the ploys and it leaves the patterns there so these five p's of strategy if you understand you can get full understanding of the strategy thank you very much